Now, here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. This day features lots of sunshine and temperatures near 50. What, what is, is Saturday? What is, oh, <laughs> you got it. Here we go. Bonus round. Yeah, looking milder this weekend. Uh, plenty of sunshine. Nice to see it today considering, well, how wet the month of January has been and, and how cloudy as well. Uh, skies have cleared out after some clouds earlier this evening. Looking good in Newport. Temperatures that are in the upper 20s to low 30s. Nice kind of a quiet uh, winter night. Looking at the numbers now. 29 in Boroughville. Providence at 34. Coventry's down to 29. And New Bedford getting a head start on the chill at uh, 27 degrees. Despite the colder temperatures overnight, early tomorrow morning, uh, rapid warm up this weekend. Average high during the afternoon for this time of the year is about 37, 38. And you can clearly see we're way above average here, really next several days and especially over the weekend, both days close to 50. But look at the reality check of winter settling in next week. Uh, a little bit for Tuesday and Wednesday with the coldest weather towards the end of the week. In fact, by Friday of next week, we may be talking about high temperatures only in the 20s. Now, the big question, can we get any moisture to coincide with this cold air for any snow? I think the next snow chance may hold off until next Thursday, but seeing signs of it feeling more like winter the second half of next week. Threat tracker overnight through Saturday and Sunday. It's a low level green, no big storms or anything high impact. A little breezy tomorrow, but a lot of sunshine, 45 to 50. Extra clouds on Sunday, but really not a bad day. It's still quite mild, dry during the day. Clouds increasing in the afternoon. I think any light rain showers should wait until just after uh, sunset. Skies are partly cloudy across New England. You see a shield of snow, snow showers across the upper Great Lakes and now towards Ohio and Pennsylvania. This should stay away. When we take this into the future, watch tomorrow morning at around 8 a.m. Waking up to sunshine. A gusty southwest breeze is going to boost the temperatures up along with extra sunshine. It'll feel a pretty good tomorrow afternoon. Here we are tomorrow evening at 9 o'clock, a dry Saturday night. Sunday morning early, 8, 9 a.m. Some partial sunshine, but then notice how the clouds take over during the afternoon. But staying dry, this uh, light shower activity doesn't really get in until just after sunrise set and into early on Sunday evening at around 8 o'clock. Here's a more detailed look at uh, Saturday. Uh, take you through the overnight and into early tomorrow morning. We'll start with a little bit of cloudiness early. Otherwise, skies becoming uh, mostly sunny by 8 a.m. Temperatures already well above freezing. Upper 40s to near 50 with a good deal of sunshine. It's a little on the breezy side compared to today, but still very nice. Tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock, partly cloudy, well above freezing. And tomorrow night at 11 o'clock, partly uh, cloudy skies and a temperature at around 32. All right, tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., it's already at 35 degrees. Some extra clouds early, then increasing amounts of sunshine. Looking good uh, during the afternoon hours. Sunny skies, breezy and dry, upper 40s to near 50. Southwest breeze tomorrow, kind of gusty on the bay at about 10 to 20 knots. All right, seven-day forecast. Some extra clouds on Sunday, but staying dry during the daytime. We're bringing some light rain showers on Sunday evening, Sunday night. Not a big deal, but look at the big cool down. The second half of the weekend, cold with the daytime highs running below average. Maybe a little light snow on Thursday. Stay tuned, but the weekend's comfortable. A walk, a jog, just being outside. Uh, nothing wintry like we had a year ago uh, last year on Saturday. Because we haven't even had any sun. So regardless of the warmer temperatures, it's just kind of been cloudy, rainy, like Yeah, gloomy. not just a lot of rain, but a lot of cloud cover during the month of January. Yeah, all right, Tony, thank you.